Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Taylor and this is Taylor RC and Racing. This week we'll be racing at Neem Valley for the second round of the Nitro Cross Series with the Nitro Agama. So welcome to the first ever episode of my RC Racing Adventures. Uh, we'll be looking at the 8 scale Nitro this episode, obviously I've said that, but um, I really want to just put a, a short little intro to this video. I'm trying to, like my, my Instagram kind of took off in the last year or so. I haven't been doing this very long, only a couple of years after after the Covid thing happened. So well, I've not been doing it very long, but I found that in these short, short couple of years, I've really got hooked to the racing side of things. And if I can get some people that generally would go around and bash in the field, to come to the track and try it out themselves. I know they won't regret it. So if I can do that through these videos and show them just how friendly people are and how much fun we have, basically, uh, me over here and my future wife behind the camera doing all the filming for me and the editing. So as a team, we'll try and take you on our adventures. With the Agama, um, I bought this originally just at the end of last year to try and um, hone my skills in the in driving RC cars over the winter period um, I haven't had it very long I've done a few races with it so I feel that I'm still getting to grips with the car itself and the tune it tuning their all the shocks and stuff like that so I feel that going into this race I was trying I just wanted to like as set a goal to qualify for the A main if I can get into the A main I'll be over the moon really um, I think it was it went really well. We did amazing, really, considering this is our first competitive nitro race that we've done with the car. Um, you'll see in this video how how it all panned out. I think at the end I was a bit uh, a bit gutted to <laughs> really because once you get to a position you kind of want to finish there. But you'll see in this video what happened. Uh, just a little bit about the car. Um, it's a, an Agama 319 with all the option bits on it, so it's got all the aluminium hubs, front and rear, uh, CV drive shafts, bullet B224 engine that's actually really good based on an OS B21, so fast as you like, um, beater exhaust that's really good as part of Agama I think anyway. Um, I put these servos in, AGF RC servos, really really good servo, really fast. I run for Tava radio as well. It was um, pretty standard, to be honest. It uh, does the job. So uh, going into the first qualifier, the format is that we have four qualifiers overall. First two qualifiers, we get two minute practice, and then two minute warm up, and then five minutes of actual qualifying time. So you see us all going out at different times. We're all we basically get two laps. It's it's two minutes, two laps is what we get to warm up the engine and. Just get it into the operating temperature, uh, operating window basically, and because the nitro engine, they don't really like running cold. It'll run, it'll run rich for the first couple of minutes. So this is what we're doing here. I'll come back in and get topped up with fuel before we go out for a qualifier. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So after Q1, uh, I come off the rostrum. I, I feel like I was consistent enough, and it wasn't. I wasn't making any any mistakes in the five minutes. So I felt like I should have come in a quite a good place, but I wasn't sure to be honest. But um, I see that I actually come sixth overall in that first heat. Everyone's very close in this in this class, so it's only within seconds of in the top ten. So. Really, I'm quite pleased. I was pleased with coming sixth in that one, really. So uh, the track started drying out quite uh, quickly towards the uh, latest, uh, later qualifiers. As you can see, getting grip roll out of turn one. I just, um, it, I've got to iron that out really. It's a new car to me, but you see the marshal got to me quickly enough. A couple of mistakes and uh, I still f finished in a, in a P8. So I'm, I was happy with that, with the couple of mistakes that I made. So, obviously it's the first time we've been racing eight scale, and I think it's going really well. Obviously the first qualifier it was um, wet, so very difficult conditions really, especially on Astro, it's very slippery. Um, first two qualies really we were on wet tyres, started getting drying out, and then the third quali we went out on the dry tyres. It was a lot quicker. I think like P6 in that one. And the fourth one went a bit wrong because it's a bit of his roof too many times. But, you know, qualified ninth overall, which is last place in the A main, which I'm happy about. That's all I set for this weekend was to get into the A main. Try and do something, but, you know, just try and get in the A main, and that's what I did. So. That's good. Figured that I will change change my tyres out for the wet again. It's okay, getting gosh, to the line. point where the dew is going to start coming down, and uh, it'll start getting wet again. So, and it comes up fast. So, let's be prepared. Hopefully, it'll work. <laughs>
Oh, that was rubbish, wasn't it? Oh, I was running third the whole time. I can't believe it. You had a good start to the race, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, been it the about three times, two laps before the end. And where did you finish in the end? Oh, you finished in seventh, didn't you? Seventh. God, so good. Started in ninth. Then went up to third, dominating third, second. It's in third for the entire race. Four minutes left, and there was a couple of crashes. Went on your roof, and that shows you how tight the racing is. All right, back from Nîmes this weekend for the Nitro Cross Series second round. Uh, obviously, it's my first time out with the race with the car. I mean, I think I did all right with it. Uh, Honestly, the only aim I had to get it was to try and get into the A final, and I did that first time. I did I qualified in the ninth position out of uh, so the, the last automatic into the A. So really, there's about 16 cars that were within seconds of each other. So it was anyone's game, really. I think it was just luck of the draw, and whether you made less mistakes or not. So I'm kind of getting better with the eight scale program making less mistakes, becoming faster, it's getting there slowly. Um, we qualified ninth, like I said, and in the A final we uh, had a bit, had a really good run in the first sort of 15, 15, 16 minutes of the race. So yeah, we had a really good um, pit stop. First pit stop was good, second pit stop, we went well. You know, it was in third place coming out of the pits in, in second pit stop, so I was really happy with that. I was uh, about five corners in front of fourth place. We're trying to uh, just, you know, maintain that. But unfortunately, I made a couple of mistakes in the late late stages of the race, and that was all she said. Really, it, was, it put me in seventh place, which just shows how much how close the, the class is and how close everyone is at that level. You know, so it's, it's really good to be a part of and to do that well in my first meeting. I'm really chuffed with, my, really chuffed with how we did it, so I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Uh, it's just a little insight into my first uh, event with the with the Agama, the Nitro car. Um, obviously I've never done the 8th scale before, I normally race 5th scale, so uh, that's what we'll be uh, doing mostly this season. We're going to do every single round of our national championship. Also, in the summer, we're off to the Czech Republic for the European Championships, and that could be, uh, hopefully, we can do quite well there. So, and that'll be a little bit longer than the normal videos that we're going to post out. But I hope, I hope I'll come across a bit like, you know, you get a little bit of an insight into what I like to do at the weekend, <laughs> at the weekend sort of thing. So, just comment, subscribe, like if you like it. Don't watch it if you don't. <laughs> Thanks for watching.